So hi everyone. Um, my name is Satya. Um, I work as a developer at Nimbella. Uh, today I'm going to show you a build plugin that we built, uh, Netlify build plugin that we built as part of our integration with Netlify. So um, I will show you an example site first, so you can I can walk through uh, what um, what the plugin is handling you and how you can use it to um, get more out of the sites you're, you're going to build. So I'll walk through the example first. So this is a simple hello world site. The, the, the message is coming from a Python backend, uh, basically a Python function that is deployed uh, on Imbella. And the front end is deployed uh, to uh, Netlify. If you view the source, you can see that it is fetching the message from the API inform. So uh, let's do a quick uh, live deployment of this uh, uh, example site that we have built. We have also made a button so you can click and uh, Access and uh, deploy it at one go. So so let me explain a few things uh, about the plugin. So why, why do you want to use this plugin? Basically, the is that you can use more Netlify me uh, limits uh, you to use. Uh, Golang, I, I'm sorry, no JS and uh, Golang. So uh, the Nimble Cloud is based on OpenWiz, so you can use your custom runtime or you can use the pre-built runtimes that are already there in the community and also we have uh, we support key value and objects so that are built in um, you can access the docs and see how those uh, work so okay so the deployment has started for it and i think it's okay it's going on i'll explain what has happened right now the when we click on the netify uh, deploy to netify in the button um and created a repository. A namespace, anonymous namespace, has been allocated on uh, Nimbella. Basically, you can think of it as a, a project uh, that can contain several other functions. So, a namespace has been deployed, and uh, uh, and uh, the greet the function the backend uh, function greet has been deployed. It's called actions in uh, uh, functions are called actions in OpenWhisk terminology. And um, so this is deployed. Let's uh, see. Okay, you can see it's working. So this is a um, quick demo of the example site. Let me walk through the code right now so you can. Uh, okay. Uh, this is a Dino example. Uh, I will walk through the Python one that I just deployed. So this is a Python repository I clicked before and deployed. So let's look at the Netlify configuration first. You can see that the Netlify plugin has been uh, used here. And this is the normal Netlify config. Uh, and there is a uh, Nimble config that has a pa uh, path API. Um, which basically says uh, to use the um, to use endpoint slash path, and then all the packages, uh, the functions are grouped as packages in uh, Nimbella projects. So uh, this is a default package that is the, that's in the Python 
repository, the Hello World Python repository. And inside you have a greet function, which uh, basically returns a Hello World message and, and also returns a custom message based on the parameter provided. So I think I've shown you this uh, code uh, before. Uh, let me uh, show you another example that, uh, that I just built before for uh, this uh, demo. I built a Dino function. Uh, so this, uh, this application is uh, um, it's, it's the same application, but the function here is written in Dino. Um, it may seem like TypeScript. I mean, in the sense, there is nothing specific about uh, Dino here, but the runtime that's uh, that's it's run on is Dino. So we specify the runtime in project.yaml that's specific to Nimbella. So basically, we specify the package name and the actions inside it. And so it's running Dino 1.3.0. And the, here, you can specify the limits. Like I have uh, specified the timeout. And basically, it's 15 seconds. This is because uh, uh, right now, it compiles on request. Uh, this will be fixed soon. And <clears throat> coming to the plugin, back again. So we have documented how you can. Uh, once you're deployed in the Netlify side uh, uh, and Netlify Nimble side, you need to claim the namespace that has been anonymously created for you. So the, uh, here, you need to claim this namespace so you can uh, redeploy and um, um, have the resource under your own account. So you need to sign up for Netlify, then uh, use a you need to install the Nimble CLI. Uh, one thing, one, how do how do you claim this? Uh, so, basically, you need to clone your repository that has been created, uh, and uh, use the Netlify. Add. This this part is done when uh, we click on the one click button. And the next uh, part is to access it. That is, uh, this this can be skipped for us. And the next thing is Netlify add-ons auth Nimbella that should be run to access the um, namespace that has been created. Okay, let me show you where is this. Okay, I think we removed this in the documentation, but that it's going to work. The it will be back. Uh, I will show you. I will give you a quick demo on how how to access this uh, namespace right now. So let's go back. So this is this is a repository that got created. So I'll clone this and So I'm cloning this. I'm not sure if it's visible. So I clone it. And so you can uh, use the same code. Now we need to link this site, uh, this lo local directory with the Netlify app. We need to use Netlify link. Ask us to use the current one. So it's been linked. Now we need to do Netlify add-ons or Nimbella. So this will um, take us to a page where we need to sign up and um, access the namespace. So, okay, I'm already logged in, so just skip the part of sign up.
um, the site has been added. Uh, the, this is the okay. Uh, this is the namespace that has been created. You can see all the like basically you can see all the Netlify sites that are deployed here. Um, this is our development, so uh, it will be improved. Right now. So that's a quick demo of the deployment. Um, if you have any questions or anything related to the plugin, or uh, please uh, leave us in the comments. Okay. Yep. Uh, that's a quick demo. You can visit this uh, GitHub page or our site. Uh, um, net nimbella.com slash integration source netify to uh, check out this um, uh, plugin that we built the integration and the whole the major majority of the steps that are required to use a plugin are like a documented you can check out this report so yeah that's it